Hi, and I have with me Mo from waybeyondpadthai.com. <laughs> and I understand this is your own creation. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. And what is waybeyondpadthai.com? So Way Beyond Pad Thai is the website that I put on a lot of Thai food just to let people know that in Thailand we don't have just Pad Thai, we have like way beyond Pad Thai, like a lot of things. A lot. <laughs> and what about Khao Soi? You know, Khao Soi, yeah. Why didn't you call it Way Beyond Khao Soi? Way Beyond, because <laughs> not a lot of people know Khao Soi at all, even, it, even though it's like so good, so good. You've had it. I've had it. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's it's definitely my favorite Thai dish now. Yeah, yeah. mine too. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I eat mine with uh, it's vegetarian, so um, I'm plant based. So uh, interested to know what's the next most popular dish after pad Thai. Um, tom yam gung maybe. Okay. If, yeah, I'm sure everyone know tom yam gung. Um, yeah, maybe. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm terrible no, with yeah, names. It's like um, hot and sour soup. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Very good. And so, what? Why? What made you to cr create this? Is it just because you were getting annoyed at people thinking that it was only pad thai in Thailand? Um, that one of the reasons. No. <laughs> but like um, me, I personally love food a lot, and then I live abroad like um, pretty long. Like, I mean, I, I've been living abroad and... Whereabouts? I've been living in California, I've been living in Vancouver, and then I travel a lot. I used to, like, um, backpacking for, like, a year and then live in South, um, Central America and stuff, and then I just miss Thai food, and then I feel like Thai food is, like, something that... It's, like, a lot of thing in there is, like, um, a lot of it into Thai food, and then just something that I love and I am passionate about. Very good. So you're, you're blogging? Yeah, so mostly it's like uh, I list all the food and then tell people like where to get it, like where a good place to get that type of food. And also I, I have like um, the section of my aunt, auntie recipe. So tell people like how to make the dish. Yeah. Yeah. So your auntie makes some, some, some pretty good Thai, huh? Yeah, my family have um, has been in this business for like even before I was born. So it's like more than 20 years already. And we make really good food. It's in the country from which you guys want to come by. I already have like uh, the location on my website, so feel free to go check it out. <laughs> Very good. So you have a restaurant in your local, your t your hometown. Is that where it where it is? Yeah, in Nakhon Patom. And it's it's not really a restaurant. It's I even know what to call it in English, but like it's it's some Thai thing, like um, Thai street food thingy. <laughs> okay. But but it but. It's, Good. I can tell you that it's just good. Okay. <laughs> so I think uh, if you were living in, uh, or sorry, if you were visiting Bangkok, mm -hmm. uh, how long would it take to, to get to your hometown? Sorry, I can't pronounce it. What is it again? Nakhon Patong. Nakhon Patong. Yes. Oh. Okay, I did all right. <laughs> okay, so how long would it take to get there? So less than, less than one hour. Right. And it's a journey worth taking by the sounds of things. So um, if I'm ever in... Bangkok, I'll make sure to go visit. Yeah. Um, so what's the way that you're monetizing that, that website? So first of all, I'm putting like cookbook, which is like my auntie's recipe. And also I'm monetizing like using affiliate links, doing like um, selling flights. So people if people book the flight through my link or even like um, just book it on like a uh, the thing I have on my website, I make like a little bit of percentage there. Yeah. Do many people in Thailand and in your hometown or in Bangkok or uh, whatnot know about affiliate marketing? Not people that I know, like I mean, not my friends, not my family, but on the internet, I know that some people know about it, it's just not someone I know. Okay. So what's some of the, the challenges for, for Thai people? in? to embrace this this global economy what is there is this difficulty doing it or, I don't I don't understand like for example we're in a nomad summit and there's not many ties in the room are we just in the wrong room and there's plenty of ties doing stuff or is it that it's not very common um, I think just because like this community it's not common for type like me I actually don't know it's just because myself I knew it from um, one of my foreign friend which is Swedish 
and then um, he recommended me to um, listen to Johnny's FD podcast, Travel Like a Boss, and then I listened, and then I heard of, of this, and then I've been like interested in this digital thingy. Nomad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a nomad thingy, like, and then I just like get on it, started it, and yeah. Okay, so what's some advice that you have for for ties that want to do what you're doing or do something different? And, and embrace the global economy? Um, to be honest, like, um, that I've just learned it myself. Don't wait. Just, like, get on it and then go from there. Like, you know, you get to know people and then once you get on it, you will, like, um, you know, you have to go on. It's not just like, oh, let's wait, like, not so ready yet, like, something like that. It's just about, like, your mindset, I think. Do you have a message that you'd like to say in Thai out there to inspire some people to, to have a go? Oi, in Thai? Um, if you want to do something or something, you can start to do it and you can do something. And you know that it's good when you can do something that we can go anywhere, you don't have to be a child or something like that. You can do something that we are the owner of ourselves and ไม่ต้องแบบไปเที่ยวได้อะไรอย่างเงี้ยไม่รู้จะบอกอะไรค่ะโอเค very good we'll find out what that means later <laughs> and uh, sorry my Thai is not very good and and so are there any groups that you know of that ties could connect with are you a member of any groups not really no no do you know you know don't know of any no I don't have any like Thai community about like this nomad Okay. At all. all right. Well, if you do, please tag it in the comments uh, for Mo and uh, the Thai community because uh, we'd love to you know, see your your fellow uh, country people. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say men, countrymen, country people. Yeah. Uh, embrace the global economy, and I think um, you know there are already some you know plenty of Thais working in partnership uh, with Western cultures, uh, but. You know, that doesn't have to happen. You guys can do it on your own, right? Yeah. It's just an internet connection, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that all we need, an internet connection? Uh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks very much for your time, Mo. That's, yeah, that's re you. I really appreciate it. And, um, oh, sorry, I forgot to ask, uh, which affiliate networks uh, are you using? I am using travelpayout.com and also Involve Asia. So, like, um, Travel Payout, mostly it's just two... Um, two company combined, which is like hotel and the flight, Jet Veda. And also the other one, in Asia, you can find like so many affiliate links, like um, so many kinds. Fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Facebook.com forward slash Beach City Life for plenty more interviews from the Nomad Summit. And just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, just search for Beach City. Cheers.